Morning. New details tonight about how police tracked down the suspect. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sion Rose. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. 27 year old Andre Jackson Jr. was arrested on Friday. This is his mugshot from that arrest. And as we showed you live during our six o'clock newscast, Jackson appeared before a judge this evening. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard was in the courtroom for details about that murder were read. He joins us tonight from the scene where Josue was killed. Ryan. And we have brand new information on that. We know an ATM card as well as a jacket. Key pieces of evidence in this case that we are told now is rock solid. 27 year old Andre Timothy Jackson Jr. appears in probable cause court as he heard the charge against him. He's accused of stabbing 11 year old Josue Flores to death as Josue walked home from school on May the 17th. When they intersected, uh, the complainant was stabbed by the uh, adult male. Uh, multiple times. Jackson was surrounded by deputies in jail riot gear as a prosecutor read the evidence. There are a number of witnesses in the area who heard the confrontation and were able to give police a description of the individual who had attacked the boy. That included Richard Guerrera, who lives right beside the spot where Josue was attacked. I only see him from the back, but that's him. That's the way he ran from me when I was chasing him in a van. He ran from me the same direction the cameras are, are getting him, and that's him. Police said that Jackson appeared on five different surveillance cameras in the area wearing a unique jacket. They said they identified him when he used his ATM card in a store with a surveillance camera. Police were able to obtain information related to the card that was being used at the ATM at the time of that transaction. He was arrested Friday at a Salvation Army on North Main where he had lived since mid-April. Investigators said they recovered his distinctive jacket when he was arrested. They also said he admitted to being in the area at the time of the crime. This video was shot right after he was taken away. This woman living near the Salvation Army said that she saw him in handcuffs. By the time we turned around, you know, they already had him. They were coming out of the building. City and county leaders gathered Saturday to declare this former Marine is the man who killed 11 year old Josue Flores. Hopefully um, assure the neighborhood, assure the parents of Josue that we have the right man. Back live now you can see candles and flowers, a growing memorial to Josue. We're told bond set at this case now at $100,000. The Salvation Army telling us now it is helping with this investigation. We're live in North Houston tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News. Ryan.